Hey guys, it's your girl Pebbles. Thank y'all for tuning into my channel. This is going to be my Have and Have Nots products of the month of March. I'm so excited because I have a ton of products to show to you guys and a ton of products that I'm going to tell y'all not to go get because I wasted my money so why should I let y'all waste y'all? So we're going to start off today with hair products then we're going to get to face and then finally the makeup which is what I know y'all all came here to see. So first off, I got sent by Influencer this package from L'Oreal Paris Hair Collection and I freaking love it. Like I, I've only used it a few times but I already know that it's like going to be a staple for my hair because I have pretty much dry hair because I'm just terrible with my hair y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. My mother's a hairstylist and I got zero of those jeans from her. Like, my sister does hair, I can't do anything. That's why my hair is going to stay in braids for a while. So, I got sent the package from Influencer. And for you guys who don't know, Influencer is pretty much where you can review products. And every now and again, you get sent products for free. Sometimes sample size, sometimes full size. And all you have to do is review the products and pretty much get stuff for free. And who doesn't love free stuff? Because I love my coupons. I love trying things out for free, so Influencer is a great way to get to try new products. So I'll link everything down below on how to sign up for Influencer and give you more information about it. So they sent me this whole collection, which I was in shock because I didn't think it was going to be full-size bottles. But guys, look at this. This is the full-size bottle. And they have the, it's the Extraordinary or extraordinary whichever one you want to say oil nourishing shampoo and it has argan oil chamomile coconut amila soja and sunflower oil and when I tell you after I took my other braids out and I put this on literally my hair was so soft I kind of wanted to rock my afro for a couple days but I didn't want to have to deal with managing it but it's so freaking awesome like y'all have to go out and get your hands on this because is great as you can see look I from the couple times that I used it I I'm freaking in love and the conditioner is amazing it literally leaves your hair so soft like while you're in the shower just leave the conditioner on and keep it pushing and then also the oil that they give you that I well not that they give you but that I got sent was also so freaking amazing like I I use it even though I have braids like I put it all over on the tops of my um, my braids to kind of keep keep my roots kind of moisturized and I'm telling you it's amazing it's not super heavy it's a very light oil and it has really a nice kind of scent to it like ugh, I freaking love this stuff and even though I got sent it for free when I run out I'm gonna go head to my local Target and pick it up because it's freaking amazing I must keep the links down below on where you guys can pick it up and so and so forth but that's it for the hair because I don't really use a lot of products on my hair. And so on to the face. As you guys know, I'm an Ulta junkie. And I have been looking for a new face wash because I don't like to use the same stuff over and over again. Because my skin is so sensitive that it'll get used to something like that. So I saw this and really I got it because it was on sale. And then I was just like, oh my god, I freaking love it. They had like a buy one, get one 50% off. And it's the Nip and Fab Exfoliating Glycolic Cleanser. Y'all know I can't read, so I don't even know why I even try to read these difficult words. And it's amazing. Like, I use it every day when I'm in the shower, getting ready for work. It's so great. And it has this amazing, like, citrus smell to it. And so I start off with this. And really, I start off with this, and then after I'm done... I'll go in with the serum and it's pretty much kind of like the last step of my face regimen trying to kind of keep that moisture in because when you wash your face you're pretty much stripping everything all of the oils and everything from your face so you have to put some moisture back onto it so it's the serum it's pretty much like the sister to the wash so it's so freaking amazing and I, I noticed that I didn't even show y'all the cleanser but it's so amazing like I'm gonna link everything down below and it's a pretty decent price about $15 for $15 for this or like 
or was it eight dollars i don't remember but it really wasn't that high and it, and for your skin guys it's okay to spend lots of money when it comes to your skin because this is you only get one layer of skin so it's kind of like why not take care of it and then also i know you guys saw my last ipsy video and if you didn't um please go click that link and check it out but for my last ipsy video from the month of february i got sent this exfoliating scrub from uh bffs and literally this has become something that is gotten its way into my beauty routine i i love this i use it maybe like twice a week because i try not to exfoliate my skin too much because i'll break out but literally i use this first then i go back with the nip and fab um cleanser that i showed you guys i'm telling you it works wonders like i had a breakout right up in here and I literally went through with this then I cleaned my face then I used a serum and the next day it was literally half the size and I was just like oh my god I cannot believe that these products work that well because I have been using my Neutrogena stuff and my skin's gotten used to it and I'm telling you guys what are you doing why are you still like press pause and go get this stuff and then come back and get more stuff because it's freaking incredible so on to face so like i love using higher end face products but then at the same time i love drugstore products as well so today i'm rocking my mac foundation and literally i was not a mac head at first i was anti-mac i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm like everybody wears mac i'm not trying to be like everybody else but I was like, okay, I'm going to just splurge because if this is something I want to do for a living, I need to not be biased and I need to give everything a shot. So I went to the store and picked up this foundation, which is a, the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I'm in the color NW44. And when I tell you, I love this stuff. Like, it's not like the fullest coverage to me. It's kind of buildable, but I love this, like literally you have to use a primer with it because when i didn't use a primer it broke my skin out and i'm not even gonna lie to you guys but when i use a primer to create that barrier between my skin and the foundation it it works wonders like guys and it's actually a reasonable price because i have foundations that cost more than than the mac foundation so i wasn't mad at spending what i spent 27 dollars for this foundation i was just like that's nothing that's when I have my Kat Von D that I spent $38 for. That I absolutely love too. But this MAC foundation. I'm like so excited to kind of dive into the MAC brand now. Because I was so anti-MAC. That it's like. Now I'm just like okay. If the foundation is good. What else is good? I freaking love them. But from the drugstore side. I was in love with the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. But I kind of like put that on the shelf. And tried to find some new drugstore foundations that I like. And literally L'Oreal knocked the ball out of the park with the infallible um, foundations they came out with not too long ago. I mixed the color 112 with the color 111 which is 111 is soft sable and 112 is cocoa. And I mixed those two foundations together. And when I tell you it leaves like the best matte finish it says it's a 24 hour foundation which i don't understand why they say those things because i'm not wearing my makeup for 24 hours you shouldn't wear your makeup for 24 hours but if you wanted to you could wear this makeup all day because i when i tell you the coverage is incredible granted it's on the pricier side i feel like for drugstore foundations but it's worth it like i love this stuff and it's literally when I'm not trying to have a full face of makeup or just beat to the max, I'll reach for these and just it'll just set my whole face off. And then also for face, I went to Ulta because, of course, I don't, I don't know why I went, y'all. I can't even give you an excuse on why I went. But I went there to pick up some new stuff because NYX pretty much like revamped their whole line. And came out with a whole bunch of new products. So, of course, I love NYX products anyway, but I want to give them a try. They got this Gotcha Covered um, concealer, which I'm actually wearing it underneath my eye and on the bridge of my nose. And just to highlight my face. 
I got the color GCC06, which is the color golden. And I love this concealer. It's like incredible. It has like this um, kind of smooth kind of texture. It's very easy to blend. If you just get your beauty blender and just blend it out, it blends so seamlessly that like it's giving some of the higher end concealers a run for their money. Like NYX is coming for y'all and y'all better keep your eyes open and like step up your game because NYX is incredible. And so look, more from NYX, I actually been loving their, um, what is this, their eyebrow gel. I didn't use it today because I'm trying out a few different products so I can let you guys know whether or not it's worth the, the buy. But the NYX eyebrow gel is incredible. Like, I freaking love this stuff. It, it's pretty much, it reminds me of the Anastasia brow pomade, but like an easier consistency because sometimes the Anastasia can get a kind of, a little hard to kind of work with after a while. But this is incredible. I love it using their um, eyebrow brush. Oh my God, it will like set your eyebrows off. Oh my God, I love it. And so then, look, more products from NYX. I think that this whole video should just be dedicated to NYX products because this NYX product is their glitter primer. And who doesn't love glitter? But I actually like to use it as just an everyday primer. When I'm not using my Urban Decay primer, this NYX primer is the bomb skis. Like, oh my God, it's incredible. You have to just... Like, what are you doing? Go get some of this. And it's only like $5.99 or something like that. I'll link all the the prices and all the products that I mentioned in this video down in the description bar. As well as any other things that I have going on. But this NYX primer is incredible. Okay, since we're talking about primers, we might as well talk about this amazing customizable palette from Buxom. Guys, like first off. Look at the packaging. It's incredible. Like, it's so cute. I literally just got this not too long ago, but I already know that I love it. Like, I'm literally using the palette that I created on my eyes right now. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but I literally fell in love with this. And at Ulta, they have it six shadows for $40 when individually each shadow is worth $12. So you're pretty much saving like $50 by get, making the palette. So these are the colors that I chose in my palette. Like, I freaking love these. They're all kind of like iridescent, kind of um, duochrome kind of colors. And like my favorite, favorite, favorite color. I literally had to search online and in stores to find it. Is this color here. This one here. If y'all can see it, this color here, which is No Fox, oh my god, it's like a duochrome hunter green with like a brown kind of undertone. Like that's literally what I have all over my lids right now and I'm in love with it. Literally, I have it all over my lid right now as well as one of the other, this golden color I have as well, the golden color. I love this palette like Buxom I had never tried any Buxom products before until I tried this palette and it's incredible like so worth the money that I even got another one wait as soon as one of these hits pan I'm gonna switch it out because I got another one waiting in the box I'm literally loving this it cosmetics um, mascara I have the travel size because I don't really buy full size mascaras anymore because I'm always trying things out. It makes no sense to buy a full size when you're going to have to toss it in three months. So, But this is incredible. First off guys, I'm going to open it and show y'all the wand. Like, the wand is so incredible and unique. It has like that little ball tip at the top that flare it like they can get pretty much all in the inner corners. It's incredible. And literally, before I put on my falsies, it makes my eyes pop. Like, to the fact where I'm just like, maybe I'm not going to wear lashes today. Then I'm like, girl, stop playing. And, but this, guys, 
what are you doing? Go get this because it's incredible. And then back down to face. I'm like all over the place with this video. I found out about Make a Revolution like from Instagram because Instagram, I swear, makes you buy so many products because you're trying to look flawless like all these girls on Instagram when they're using filters. Just in case you didn't know. But I'm telling you, I was like, okay, I'm going to try some makeup for uh, Revolution stuff. So the brand is located overseas, so it was really hard for, for me to order things from them. Then they got sent to Ulta, which all the Ulta's don't sell their products, but majority of the ones in my neighborhood do. And I was just like, okay, I'm in love. Some of the, It's like a hit or miss kind of thing. Some of their products are like incredible and they're very affordable other products just like you get what you pay for but the their highlighters are incredible like if i could tell you to get one product from make a revolution it would be their highlighters like i have this is the one that's still intact because my other one i use so much that the the top the lid broke off it's terrible i didn't even want to show y'all that but this one is the color peach lights and i love this stuff like I'm not wearing it today, but normally I'm going to put this one and the Radiant Lights one on top of each other. And I swear I could blind you with my highlight. It's incredible. I can blind you today because, ooh, I'm hurting them with the highlight today. But that the highlight I'm wearing today is from ColourPop. Shout out to ColourPop. Um, but Makeup Forever is, not Makeup Forever, <clears throat> Makeup Revolution is like, a great brand if you're kind of just like trying to dive into makeup and you don't want to spend a lot of money make a revolution is incredible but last and not least on my half products of the month of March yes March because that means next month is April shout out to all my Aries babies my birthday is coming up so feel free to send me anything send me gifts I'm just playing y'all but I'm so excited for my birthday coming up but back to the products this is all time greatest setting spray ever like it's incredible this is the urban decay all night um setting spray like it's incredible this is my new box my new um my new box because i freaking used all the rest of my my other bottle it's incredible like whenever i'm doing my makeup and after you set your under eye and contoured and you got all this powder and liquid all mixed up together this stuff will pretty much bring all your face together like bring it together it'll make it really seamless and it'll get that powdery kind of look because you always know the girl who didn't set their makeup that has that like powdery like I can tell that you're wearing makeup which of course if you look at me you can tell I'm wearing makeup but I feel like it's not as powdery after I use my setting spray because it pretty much just like soaks it all into your face. And I, ugh, I love this stuff. I haven't like got the courage to spend $36 on a full bottle. So I keep getting the travel size, which I probably could have just gotten a full size bottle by now. But hey, what you gonna do? So guys, here's the sad part of the video. Where I tell you about all the terrible products that I have spent my money on in the month of March really or the month of February and it kind of bled into the month of March but like oh my god guys these are my have not products of the month of March so first off I was so excited with L'Oreal because remember I told you guys that I love the L'Oreal infallible foundation so when they came out with the new cushion foundation I was so excited to try it so I was like okay I'm gonna give it a I was going to do a first impressions but I was so just irritated with the foundation that I didn't even feel like putting you guys through watching that because I didn't want to bash the the foundation because that's not nice but first product of the have not list is the cushion foundation from L'Oreal like nothing against the L'Oreal brand because I love them but the cushion foundation just was not for me especially since I live in Alabama like if you can't keep up with the Alabama heat then what am I going to do with you? So literally it oxidized so bad on my skin where like I have a lot of dark spots right here. So if a foundation I'm wearing cannot cover up my dark spots, 
what are you what am I purchasing you for so I feel like when I first tried it on I was really excited I was like okay I'm, I'm liking this but it's really to me a real light coverage foundation which I'm an all or nothing type of girl like I don't like light coverage foundations so this one for me was just like blah like if you have really nice skin and you don't perspire a lot on your face you're not oily this will be good for you like it's not a terrible foundation it's just not good for my skin i have combination skin i get oily like i sweat because i'm a human like this foundation was not for me and then i also didn't like the color selection like for us chocolate brown color skin girls us beautiful black women or women of color I feel like they had two shades that could do anything and I'm towards the middle complexion when it comes to black skin so I know anybody darker than me would have a terrible time finding any colors for this foundation so this is the first ever have not product on the Bay Rock Beauty channel and I'm I'm really sad because I wanted to like it so bad and I just ugh. The next product, I'll next on the list of have not products, this one product was actually sent to me by Influencer. So we had some products by Influencer that I loved, but this product, oh my god, it's literally the worst mascara I've ever used in my life. This is the the new CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro Mascara, and it's literally garbage. Like the only reason why I didn't throw it in the garbage is just so I could film this video. I got sent this a few months back and I was super, I was super, I was super excited to try it because when I looked at the brush, like when you look at the brush, it look, it's really huge and it has all these different like curves and stuff in there. So you would think that it would lift your, your lashes. It literally made my lashes look shorter. I don't even know how that's humanly possible, but my lashes look terrible. The one good thing I can say about this product is that it's super black. So, I'd probably keep this and use the formula in the inside and not the brush because the formula was really black. And I do love really dark lashes. But other than that, this is the worst mascara. I literally have e.l.f. mascara that's better than this, what, $5.99 mascara? Like, oh, it was total garbage. And then also, I'm really sad that this is on the list of the have-nots for this month. But last month when I filmed my Ipsy box, I told you guys about this new um, lip liner from Model Company or Model Co. or whatever you want to call it. And literally, it's not, the, it's not the pencil, it's the color. The color, when I put it on my lips, is too light for me. So it pretty much made me look ashy. And I wanted this lip product to work because... The formula is incredible. I'll give them that. The formula is incredible. The color is just terrible. So it's pretty much like in the middle between have and have not. Like if I could find it in a different color, I would purchase it. Also on the have not list is this NYX Liquid Suede. Literally the worst thing that NYX has ever come out with. Like the color payoff is incredible. So like the color that you think you're going to get is the color you get. But it's... It doesn't mattify like all of the other like liquid lipsticks that have come out in recent months or really pretty much the past year or so. It it really doesn't do anything. It's pretty much just like I would be better if they called it like a lip tint or a mousse or something because it it's not like it's not a sw liquid suede like it doesn't mattify at all. Like literally if you touch your lip you'll have color all over your lips like. The lipstick that I'm wearing now, which is my holy grail, I don't know why I didn't mention it, but I was searching for this color for about six months, which is Nosferatu from uh, Kat Von D. Oh my god, like look, y'all, still there. It's incredible. I freaking love this lippy. But if I was to do this, do that same thing with this, I would have nothing on my lips anymore. Like no color. And it's terrible. Like this stuff. It dries matte like it this one doesn't like it's kind of like why recently they came out with the NYX lingerie lipsticks and pretty much the complete opposite of this the formula is incredible 
like I don't like that the color ranges that they have out but it's incredible like I have two of them and I freaking love them with a good lip liner you are good to go so yeah guys that's it for my have and have not products for the month of March I hope you guys found some products that you liked and want to try out and I hope I helped you guys not waste your money on some of the hyped about products that have come out in recent months so let me know down below where your have and have not products are the things that you are trying out this this month and I might actually go purchase them and let you guys know in my next video whether or not I like them so thank you guys for tuning in I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video bye